job. It was a small one, but he just jumped right out of there. I stumped us on them in the watershed area for the Hillsborough River. And you can see the amount of water that has been deposited in the last few months from a tropical storm and a hurricane. And that's the way this area should look, full of water, full of life, full of nature, and animals, and butterflies, and flying wading birds, and hopefully some type of a skunk monster. Now, the reason they call it the Green Swamp is not because it's foreboding and the creature from the Black Lagoon is here, but but because it's green. The foliage in Florida is just green. And that's pretty much all you see when you look around. Reconyx RC60. It's a covert stealth cam. We're out here in a swampy area where we're six feet below sea level. And this area come August is going to fill with water. And we've determined through other trail cam deployments that this area is replete with wildlife and it has vegetation, cover, and obviously lots of water. You can see by the water marks on these trees that at some point in the year, which is high summer, some of, the, some of those water marks as high as eight feet. That's how much water gets back here. I hope it doesn't get that high. This, I didn't even think about that. This camera could be underwater. Uh, that would probably take a, a hurricane coming through for some, you think, Kevin? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think you're safe there. Yeah, I think we, we'll go, hopefully. <laughs> if not, oh well, that's what happens in this. But we're very optimistic about the chances of getting something, getting something good on this camera. Its capacity is 14,000 images, and I don't, I don't know if we're going to get that many. I don't know what we're going to get, but we got a lot of room on the media card, and we found the perfect area determined by various factors. We're ready to go, so we're going to go ahead and fire it up, get out of here, and we'll be back in November. One of, the, one of the things that animals do is that they leave traces behind, what they call spore. In many cases, it's footprints. Even the Bigfoot is unaware of that. There was an area that I found where just in one square foot, I found possum, raccoon, and deer. Absolutely unbelievable that all kinds of animals have been moving through this swamp now, which means it's just wildlife rich 
vegetation rich, cover rich. This is just a perfect environment. Now it's just a matter of waiting for if it can dry down somewhat by November, then we can get back in here and really find out what's been going on. How about that? mud and grass. Trying to make sure I don't run into any snakes. Sweeping the damn blue. Mosquitoes and bugs everywhere. But I'm up to it, I guess. So you see I'm going on the parameter. This large field on the other side where the tree line is. It's where the swamp area is. That's what I'm trying to get to. That's where the wildlife sat and park ranchers told me that they know that large black bears living out there because they found evidence of feeding. <sighs> Just means that uh, something else large is out there as well. But let's keep going. Didn't get much of that, damn it. You can see the water. They're normally that not this far inland, but look at that. Thank you.